What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to ERC Vlog. If you're new to my channel, this is my Traxxas Thrustler 4x4 VXL build. Uh, I bought this car used and I plan on rebuilding it and selling it. But I've got the actual rebuild done, but there was a little problem. I ended up, I bought this from Indy RC World in Garland, Texas. Um, this was their demo car. They have a whole bunch of demo cars. I ended up grabbing the wrong remote control. I know this is the actual remote control that goes to this car, like the model wise, but this isn't the one that came with the car. So it's not the one binded to the car. So instead of going back and getting the right remote, I decided that I was gonna show you guys how to bind a TQI, TQI radio to the receiver and set the customized, or not the customized, set the model profile. So on the old TQI receivers, there you could go through the programming tree and set the model. And when you set the model, it basically set all your channels correctly. So let's say your steering, steering channel was left to right or whatever, it reversed it correctly based on how the servo is oriented. Also, it basically, did everything in regards to the throttle, steering, and in this case, TSM. So this car is equipped with TSM. I know nothing about TSM. I know that I don't want to mess with it, but it should be by default, the multifunction knob should be the TSM, like uh, I guess the control. You can like to turn off TSM, turn it on, or you can you know, set it to however. But we're gonna bind this up. First thing before I bind it, I'm a little concerned that the uh, Maybe the motor or the ESC is not set correctly. So there is a chance that when I get it binded correctly, I'm not sure if Traxxas is already accommodated for this, but when I get it binded up to the receiver, if the motor is actually gonna start turning. So I don't have it on wheels or anything. So that's one precaution you wanna take. If that's the case, make sure you have your car lifted or the wheels taken off. All right, so we're gonna get this thing binded. And after we get it binded, we're actually gonna hook up the Bluetooth module onto this uh, remote and set the model profile correctly so that way all the channels are set correctly. And we'll do that all through my phone. Uh, apparently that's the only way you can do it. You can't do it through the, uh, the programming tree anymore. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your radio and receiver are turned off. You want to hold the set button and then power the remote on. You'll have a red blinking light. And then you want to hold the link button on the receiver and then power So just as I thought, it was going to take off, but that's okay. I did get it binded. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set the endpoint to keep it from moving. So you push it down, hold it until it turns red, let it go. Blinks once, full throttle. Blinks twice, full brake. And we are not moving like crazy anymore. All right, ooh, it's getting hot out here. It's getting hot in Texas, guys. We're binded up. It's not running away. Everything seems fine. Actually, the trim looks right. Let's see. Turn this up. Yeah, the TSM is not set. All right, so we're gonna set the throttle, I mean the model profile on the remote. So in order to do that, you actually have to put the Bluetooth module in. This They don't come with the Bluetooth module, you have to put them in. So I'm gonna go grab a Bluetooth module off of my TRX4 remote, and then we'll get to doing that. So, be right back. All right, so I positioned the camera so you can, guys can actually see what I'm doing. I took the module out. I'm not gonna screw it in because it's not gonna be in there very long. Um, so, I've never done this before, but we're gonna see how this works. We're gonna go to the Traxxas link. And touch to skip. Done. And then we're gonna turn this on. Looks like the Bluetooth found it. Oh, look, it already found Rustler four wheel drive. We're gonna turn the vehicle on. Multiple updates required, proceed. Touch here to proceed with firmware update. Read carefully, which I didn't. Begin update. All right. 
right, it's updating the firmware. I won't make y'all sit through this, but you saw this green light up here means the receiver, I mean the, the transmitter is connected. This green light over here means the receiver is connected and we are updating. So let's get this updated. Jeez, this is like waiting for a Windows update. This is bad. Actually, it's not that bad. I've only been sitting here for about two minutes, so it's on stage two of two. Guys, it just, this is like exactly like a Windows update. It literally <laughs> went, it went back to stage one of two. I can't wait. So another interesting turn of events. It's on retry number two. Looks like the updating wasn't successful. It did retry number one, and now it's on retry number two. Let's hope it works. I don't know what it's going to tell me to do if it doesn't work, but all we can do is wait. All right, so it looks like we're done. It says, please power the transmitter and the vehicle off and back on to complete the update. So we're going to leave update screen. Turn the vehicle off. Transmitter off. Turn the vehicle transmitter on. Vehicle on. So we should be good. All right, so we got it all binded up. We got the model selected correctly. So the model profile is set correctly. So what's cool is I didn't actually have to select the model profile. Um, as soon as it recognized the receiver, and the remote it just knew when it updated everything and everything set so I have my endpoint set I can turn this on it's still working I have TSM turned all the way down um, I'm gonna turn TSM all the way up so you guys can see what it's all about so basically you can tell we have TSM whenever I give a little bit of throttle start steering So I just discovered something kind of interesting. So when you turn, let's see if this does it again. When I turn the car on, turn the radio on, everything works. If I give it some throttle, the TSM does not work. But if I turn the, rec the receiver back off or the uh, ESC back off, turn it back on, now TSM was working. So it's like you have to turn the receiver on and off again for, to get TSM working. So you know TSM is working whenever you give it a little bit of throttle and then you rotate the car and you can tell the front steering is moving. So TSM is working. Everything seems to be working fine. We got our endpoint set. I'm not going to use TSM because that's for lamos. Actually, I'll use it a little bit whenever we do some speed runs because we are going to do some speed runs. But if you like this video, smash that like button, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to my channel, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.